I'm here today at the Estill County Health Department with Miss Mandy Watson and we're discussing the brand new needle exchange program that's going on now at your Estill County Health Department. At Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry, you'll receive the gentle, compassionate dental care that you deserve from a dentist. Offering restoration with CEREC, crowns, onlays, inlays, veneers, and bridges, all in one single appointment. Make your next dental visit at Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry in Berea. It was kind of a group effort. We've all wanted to do here for a long time. I transferred from Powell County. I actually started the one in Powell County. Um, and so when I came here, uh, they didn't have one here, so I can't continued working uh, with s several people here in the county and um, with our administrator and our supervisor here, and we were able to get it going. Anybody that wants to come, it doesn't matter where you're from. We do have a lot of people that travel from one county to another because maybe they don't want people in their own counties to know um, that they're coming to a syringe exchange program. Sometimes it's a convenience thing for them. We give up to 30 needles. I know Powell County does the same thing, so maybe they need more needles. They may go to a different you know, county because they're not getting enough. So it, it's just it just depends, but nobody will ever be turned away. It's absolutely completely anonymous. Um, when they come in, they'll come through the front door, they'll walk up to the counter, and the ladies up front will give them this slip. It will just ask them to mark on here what they're here for. There's a pot here on the bottom where it says syringe exchange. They just put a little check mark by that, hand this back to the clerks, and then they give them a number, whatever number that's next in line. Every patient that comes through here now has a number. Nobody will ever get called by a name anymore just because we want to keep all of this completely anonymous. I want to see the diseases stop or at least slow down. That book here and this book here is completely full of nothing but hepatitis A cases. That's not counting the amount of hepatitis C and B that we're seeing now. And I do all the reportable diseases for the county. So there's not a day goes by that I don't have one come across my desk that is some, tor some sort of hepatitis. Um, and so to be able to see that slow down would be wonderful. Now, in the end, I hope that we can start seeing people get into rehab and treatment and those kind of things. And we do have a lot of resources that we can offer people when they come through. But the ultimate goal of a syringe exchange program is to stop the spread of diseases and get needles off the street. I'm Loretta McPherson for WBONTV.com.